Yes. Okay. Now, as you were growing up, did you ever see yourself becoming Bishop Margaret? At some time, at some point, no. At some point, I was so settled into the poverty where I was brought up that I thought this is all there is in life. Mm. I thought life can never be any better. I actually thought this is the way we are going to live forever. But one time, I, 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 as I said, I was brought up towards uh, Waiyaki Bay, towards Westlands. And one time, I thought, I always see pictures, I hear people talk about Nairobi. Mm -hmm. We are in Nairobi, don't forget. Eh? Mm -hmm. but I hear people talk, yes, mm -hmm. now I'm thinking about Nairobi as and of the, the CBD. CBD. Right. In Nairobi, the CBD. And I've never been there. And for some reason, I started to see the CBD that I've never seen in reality. Somehow I thought it must be a great place and I decided to come to the CBD. So there was an uncle of mine who was, uh, he knew everything and he understood every place. So I said to him, can you one day take us to the CBD? And he said, yeah, I'll take you to Uhuru Park. Mm -hmm. So he brought us to Uhuru Park and you know Uhuru Park is just opposite the GPO. Mm -hmm. So I stopped at the GPO there and I looked and when I stopped there, I was a very young girl, but something in me said, one day you'll be a great person. Mm -hmm. That was a turning point. That was your turning point? That, that was point. my turning point. Okay. Because from that point, mm -hmm. I forgot the past. Mm -hmm. I began to see greatness that did not exist. Mm -hmm. But my mind shifted from the poverty, from the problem, from the stigma, from everything that had gone wrong, and I started to see greatness. That was a turning point for me.